T wave abnormalities. Before knowing the T wave abnormalities, we have to know the normal T wave characteristics. As we know, the T wave is the positive deflection after each QRS complex and it represents ventricular repolarization. The T wave is upright in all leads except AVR and V1. Amplitude is less than 5 mm in limb leads and less than 10 mm in precordial leads, basically 10 mm in males and 8 mm in females. The duration of Q wave is related to QT interval. The T wave abnormalities are peak T wave, hyperacute T wave, inverted, biphasic, camel hump, and flattened T waves. Peaked T waves. These are tall, narrow, symmetrical, and usually seen in hyperkalemia. Hyperacute T waves. These are broad, asymmetrically peaked, seen in early stage of STEMI. They are also seen in fringe metal angina. Inverted T waves. Inverted T waves are seen in the following conditions. Normal findings in children. Inverted T waves in the right precordial leads V1 to V3 are a normal findings in children, representing the dominance of right ventricular force. Persistent juvenile T waves pattern. T wave inversion in the right precordial leads may persist into adulthood and are most commonly seen in young females. Persistent juvenile T waves are asymmetric, shallow, and usually limited to V1 to V3. Myocardial ischemia and infarction. T wave inversion is due to the myocardial ischemia or infarction occur in contagious leads based on the anatomical location of the area of ischemia or infarction. In inferior MI, it is seen in 2-3 AVF. For lateral, it is 1 AVL V5 V6. And for anterior MI, it is V2 to V6. The dynamic T wave inversion are seen with acute myocardial ischemia. Fixed T wave inversion are seen following infarction, usually in associated with pathological Q waves. Bundle branch block. In bundle branch block, T wave inversion is an expected findings, even in the absence of ischemia. Left bundle branch block produces T wave inversion in the lateral leads 1 AVL V5 V6. Right bundle branch block produces T wave inversion in right precordial leads V1 to V3. Ventricular hypertrophy. Left ventricular hypertrophy produces T wave inversion in the lateral leads 1 AVL V5 V6. That represents left ventricular strain pattern with a similar morphology that seen in the left bundle branch block. Right ventricular hypertrophy produces T wave inversion in the right precordial leads V1 to V3 that represents right ventricular strain pattern and also in the inferior leads 2, 3, AVF. Pulmonary embolism. Acute right heart strain secondary to massive pulmonary embolism produces a similar pattern to right ventricular hypertrophy. T wave inversion in the right precordial leads V1 to V3 and the inferior leads 2, 3, AVF are seen. In pulmonary embolism may also produces T wave inversions in lead 3 as a part of S1, Q3, T3 pattern. S wave in V1, Q waves in lead 3 and T waves inversion in lead 3 seen. Hypertrophic cardiomyopathy. Hypertrophic cardiomyopathy is associated with deep T wave inversion in all precordial leads. Raised intracranial pressure. Event causing a sudden rise in the intracranial pressure produces widespread deep T wave inversion with bizarre morphology. Biphasic T wave. There are two main causes of biphasic T waves, myocardial ischemia and hypokalemia. These two waves go in opposite direction. Biphasic T wave due to ischemia, T waves go up then down and biphasic T waves due to hypokalemia, T waves first go down then go up. Wellens syndrome. The Wellens syndrome is a pattern of inverted or biphasic T waves in V2, V3. That is highly specific for critical stenosis of left anterior descending artery. There are two pattern of T waves abnormality in the Wellens syndrome. Type A, biphasic T wave with initial deflection positive and terminal deflection negative. And type B, where the T waves deeply and symmetrically inverted. Camel hump T wave is a term used by Amal Mattu to describe the T waves that have a double peak. There are two causes for the camel hump T waves. Prominent U wave fused to the end of the T wave as seen in the severe hypokalemia. Hidden P waves embedded in the T wave as seen in the sinus tachycardia and various types of heart blocks. Flattened T wave. Flattened T waves 
आर ए नॉन स्पेसिफिक फाइंडिंग बट मे रिप्रेजेंट इस्टिमिया और इलेक्ट्रोलाइट एबनॉर्मलिटीज लाइक द हाइपोकेलमिया डायनामिक टी वेब्स फ्लैटनिंग ड्यू टू द एंट्री इस्टिमिया टी वेब्स रिटर्न टू नॉर्मल वॉन्स द इस्टिमिया रिजॉल्व ग्लोबल टी वेब फ्लैटनिंग इन द हाइपोकेलिमिया एसोसिएटेड विथ प्रोमिनेंट यू वेब इन एंट्रीयर लीड्स भी टू एंड भी थ्री